Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a canvas or a wall texture from scratch using only the fractal noise and emboss effect. This is a great thing to know if you ever wanna add some quick texture to a background or maybe to a shape element without having to go out and find a texture file. And I will also show you how to easily add some subtle movement to your texture. So the texture on the left, I went to unsplash.com, I did a search for canvas, and I downloaded this canvas texture. The texture on the right, I created this using an adjustment layer, I added the fractal noise effect and the emboss effect, and I added a solid color underneath so I could control the color. Now I'll show you just how easy it is to create your own textures from scratch. So first create a new composition. I'm just gonna go to composition, new composition, 1920, 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds in duration. The background color does not matter. And I'll just give the comp name, we'll call it texture. Click OK. I'll add a new solid, which I'll use for the background color. So I'll just right click, go to new, solid. I'll make it comp size. I'll click on the color swatch. I'm gonna make it a really light gray. I'm just gonna use this C1, 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 click OK. Click OK. Now we have a solid background. Now I'm gonna add a new adjustment layer, which is what I'm gonna to use to add the effects onto. So I'll right click, new, adjustment layer. Then I'm gonna to go to the effects and presets. The first effect is fractal noise. So F-R-A-C-T, I'll click on fractal noise and I'm gonna drag it right onto the adjustment layer. Then I'm gonna search for emboss. So E-M-B-O-S-S, and I'm gonna drag the emboss under the fractal noise. And just like that, you already have a texture. Now it's just a matter of customizing the controls to get a texture that you like. It's as easy as that. With the adjustment layer selected, I'm gonna go up to effect controls under fractal noise. I'm gonna change the noise type from soft linear to block. For contrast, I'm gonna change it from 100 to 50. I'll twirl open sub settings, change sub influence, from 70 to 150. And subscaling, I'm just gonna enter 50. Then I'm gonna go down to the layers panel to the mode column. If you don't see the mode column, you can just right click, go to columns, check modes. I'm gonna change the blend mode from normal to overlay. And just like that, I have a nice canvas texture. To add a little movement, I'm just gonna add a simple expression to the evolution property. So I'll press Option on a Mac, Alt on Windows, and click on the stopwatch next to Evolution. I'm gonna come down to the timeline to the expression editor. I'm just gonna type out time, asterisk, 250. Hit the space bar. And now you see we've got a little movement in our texture. And it changed the color. You can just go down to the solid layer below the adjustment layer, go to layer, solid settings, click on the color swatch, and just adjust the colors to anything you want. And that is a fast and easy way to create your own textures on the fly using the fractal noise and the emboss effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.